Today, we head back down to the coast to Fratton Park for Pompey away. It's fair to say that the home side are underachieving this season, currently sat 10th in Skybet League 1 with only one win in their last five games. Since the appointment of new head coach John Messino, it's fair to say that they have not seen the response they would have wanted and fans are fairly disappointed with the club's progress since his appointment. Of course, he did come in off the back of the sacking of manager Danny Cowley after a poor first half of the season for what is a big club at this level. Their recent 0-0 draw away at Lincoln was very, very disappointing with several huge chances missed, even from the likes of Colby Bishop, who is usually a very, very clinical striker. We come in off the back of our loss on penalties in the Papa John semi-final. Plymouth away, it was a very, very tough one to take, but a positive performance against a very, very strong Plymouth Argyle side. If we can take the positives into this game, there might be something there for us today. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. And I don't want to be in big trouble. I prefer not to speak. At the start of this week, I was very negative going into this one. But now, I'm feeling a bit more positive. My score prediction is going to be a one all draw. But I think, genuinely, if they don't turn up, we have the potential to nick something today. Yeah, of course. 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 Yeah, of your score predictions will be on the screen now as always your score predictions will be on the screen now as always can Pompey get a huge three points to try and salvage some kind of hope of playoffs come the end of this season or will Charlton get a huge win to help build that gap between us and the relegation zone only time will tell let's head to Portsmouth and find out Right, we're here with Tom, 4-0 running all over. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. What a channel. Best in league one. Right, Tom, big game today. What's your prediction, mate? Uh, ooh. A lot of people are saying, oh, today he's got me the day for 4-0 written all over it. I'm like... I'm, I'm rapidly falling out of love with football. Could be. It could you just rather. Said, you just said to me, if we... Well, you had one last week, didn't you? You said to me, if we take our chances, we'll be in for a good afternoon. We can't seem to take our chances at the minute, Matt. Yeah, you, you, so. you didn't look like you were against Lincoln. No, mate. And and to be honest, it was it was quite last minute against Burton as well. So um, yeah, we'll see. I say a two nil Pompey, bit of confidence. There's not much happening for the rest of our season. Um, I take a two nil, but I appreciate that you can count us on the catch us on the counter and really annoy us. So don't do that if you can avoid it, Matty. Uh, hopefully, um, hopefully we do. Enjoy your trip down as well. Top man, thank so, you very much. Well done for making the trip. Solid lineups to be fair. Um, decent on midfield, Bonds, Perry, and Green. What we'd like to see. Uh, Jacko and Ferry in the wing backs. That's pretty solid, that. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Keener and May up top. And, and, a, and a decent back line as well. Rags came to the back in, of course, after his suspension in the Babadons Trophy on Tuesday. Uh, and then Sean Munn, of course, and Luke Saffling got a decent on lineup. So hopefully, a nice come a half decent performance, but to be honest. Only time or so, look at what we did against Barnsley, we went crap. Yeah, fingers crossed we come out of this performance. Yeah, it's got to get on. Go on, Tom! Go on, Ray! Away, jump, run! That's a red ball! Well done, Chad Sherry! Chad Sherry! Oh, 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 oh! Chad Sherry! Chad Sherry! Chad Sherry! Chad Sherry! Chad Sherry!
down again it is 3-0 isn't it yeah 3-0 i lost track that's how bad it is we have been absolutely shocking absolutely shocking it, 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 it we're crap we're absolutely crap and that, that that's to be on an end all um i don't really want to talk anymore so i've got my good friend as i like to call him the the, the connoisseur of football knowledge mr cromwell force <laughs> what what is there to say apart from there's no beer in the away end, so I've had to sit and watch that shit. And it's been shit. We don't have a midfield. We haven't had a midfield all season. They're playing 30-yard passes on the floor for our midfield. Yeah, it, like, Perry, Perry's not fit to kick a ball. It, it's just shit, isn't it, Watson? Don't get me in this. No. Come on, Watson. Yeah, it's abysmal. Abysmal. Bean? That's all right. Just a side. <laughs> yeah. Depressingly predictable. And the thing is, he'll come out at full time and say, "Oh, we'll get we get slapped in this league, like he did against Barnsley." But all oh, we played well in the stuff cross cup. I don't give a toss about the stuff cross cup. What a piss up at Wembley, and that's it. You don't get anything from it. The league's where you make your money. He makes a good point. Yeah. Let's go second half. Oh, my God. 
Right. Full time. Uh, Pompey, four champ now. Deserve Pompey were good. Pompey were, were, were a very strong side. Uh, we were absolutely shit. Absolutely shit. We gave nothing. We gave nothing. No passion. Uh, no, no effort. And I just feel like week in, week out, game after game, the fans are getting let down. Um, two four nils in the league in a row. Regardless of opposition, it's embarrassing. It's not good enough until he's got to change him fast. We've got Derby away on Tuesday. It looks like it's going to be another absolute pumping. I've got nothing else to say. Have a crash, trusty day, and we'll see you for Derby away.